Hezbollah threatened Israel with a retaliatory operation after the drone attack on Beirut. The Lebanese armed group Hezbollah has blamed Israel for the drone strike in Beirut that killed Hamas deputy leader Saleh al-Arouri and promised that the crime won't be left unanswered. Al-Arouri was among seven people who died in the attack, which took place in the suburbs of the Lebanese capital. Several hours after the incident, Hezbollah, which is an ally of Palestinian armed group Hamas, issued a statement warning that its finger is on the trigger. The group described the drone strike as a serious assault on Lebanon, insisting that this crime will never pass without response and punishment. The criminal enemy, which after 90 days of crime, killing and destruction was unable to subjugate Gaza, is resorting to a policy of assassination, Hezbollah stated referring to Israel. Lebanese caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikati said that he told the country's foreign minister to submit an urgent complaint to the UN Security Council over the drone strike, which he described as a flagrant attack on Lebanese sovereignty. In a separate statement, Mikati claimed that the killing of al aruri was an attempt to drag Lebanon into a new phase of confrontation and called on the international community to put pressure on Israel to stop its attacks on the country's territory. Following the warning by Hezbollah, spokesman of Israeli army Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said that Israel is at a very high level of readiness in all arenas in defense and offense and is prepared for any scenario.